I know y'all know this song, so I want y'all to sing your hearts out with us. Hallelujah. As we magnify the Lord in this place. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. And all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. I hear some of y'all singing out there. Hallelujah. Come on, help me sing. Say, all the glory. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. One more time, let's lift him high and say, All of the glory belongs to you. It belongs to you, oh God. Say it again, say it again, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Now let's lift it up and say, and we say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, lift it up and say, say all the glory. All the glory belongs to you. It belongs. All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. We lift you high. All of the glory and the honor belongs to you. One more time, I want you to lift your voice and say, All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, O God. All of the glory, all the glory belongs to you. It belongs to you, oh God. Yeah, yeah. And we say hallelujah. Say Hallelujah, 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 say hallelujah, 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 we bless you, we adore you, you're worthy, we bless you, we magnify, we magnify you, you're worthy, say hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. 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 We adore you. Hallelujah. 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 You're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We pray. We pray. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We pray. Hallelujah, say hallelujah, hallelujah, say hallelujah, hey, say Yahweh, Yahweh, we pray, we pray, say Yahweh, Yahweh, 
Say we pray. We pray. Say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We pray. We pray. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We pray. We pray. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. We pray. We pray. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. Say we pray. We pray. Say Hallelujah. Say The glory belongs to you, oh God. Lift up your voice and say, All the glory belongs to you. 
All the glory belongs to you, O oh God. Come on, open your mouth and say, say, all the glory belongs to you. It belongs to you, O oh God. On my good days and my bad days, God, it still belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. And the honor, it belongs to you, Lord. All the glory belongs to you. And the honor belongs to you, oh God. One more time, I want y'all to lift it up in this church and say, All the glory belongs to you. And the honor belongs to you, oh God. No matter what it feels like, no, no matter what it feels like. I'll still praise you. I still worship you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. It belongs to you, oh God. Now let's take about five seconds. Just bless him for who he is in this place. He deserves it. He deserves it. Come on, let's lift him up, y'all. Let's lift him up. Let's lift him up. Let's lift him up. Raise your praise in this place. Hallelujah. Come on. You can press a little bit more than that. Hallelujah. I need about five more seconds. Hallelujah. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. Release control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 come on, let go, hallelujah, 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 come on, open up your mouth, use your hands, use your hands, open up your mouth, he deserves the glory, honor, and praise, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, come on. You got to press a little bit more. Press a little bit more. Press a little bit more. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Oh, Jesus. 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 That's it. That's it. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. The Lord that is over your life is here. The Lord that is over your life is here. Rock almost a hard yet on my soul. Hallelujah. 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 God, we pour out to you today, Lord. God, we pour out to you today so that you can fill us, Lord. God, we pour out to you so that you can fill us. Fill us up, oh God. Fill us up with your word. Fill us up with your truth. Fill us up with your spirit today, Lord. God, we need you. We need you. We need you, Lord. You ought to press a little bit more. You ought to press for that thing you've been waiting for. You ought to press. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo! Ah. Oh! Ah. Oh! 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 Ah, yeah, 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 yeah! Oh! Ah! Woo! Jesus! Ah. Woo! Jesus! Yeah! Woo! Jesus! Jesus. 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 We call you Jesus. 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 Woo! Yes, Lord. Ha. 
You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good. 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 You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are good, Lord. You are. You are. You are. You are. Woo, Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Ah, thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Don't stop there. Come on. Come on. Whoa. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Holy One is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here. He's here. Get what you need, get what you need. Get what you need, get what you need. He's here, yeah, yeah. He's here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now is your time to talk to him. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need him to do for you. Come on. You ain't got to sound fancy or nothing. Talk to him like you're talking to a regular person. Talk to him like you're talking to a regular person. He's here for you. Oh, yeah, nah, 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 yeah. He's here. The Holy One is here. The mighty one is here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The mighty one is here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. You got to just grab him. Touch him. Touch the him. Whatever it may be, you ought to grab to him. Grab to his presence. Yeah. He's, here. He's, here. He's, here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Awesome worship. Awesome worship. Awesome worship. For the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is definitely liberty. You come in bound, you leave free. That's how powerful God is. That anointing destroys the yoke. Amen, amen again. Amen. I'm asking you to stand for the reading of a scripture this morning. I have a couple of scriptures I'm going to go to, but before I get into the scripture, I just want well, to let all the ministers know that pastor gave us a subject for the whole month is shouting till your status change that's our subject for the whole month so prepare something on that subject because God got something he's going to do in all of our lives when we 
get a revelation concerning the importance of shouting to your status change. But I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. Psalm 47. Oh, I don't think I got my scripture. No. Psalm 47, verse 1. It says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Praise the Lord. Pray that. Amen. So shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Amen. Now go to Jericho. If you follow along your Bibles or phones or tablets, go to Jericho chapter, I mean Joshua chapter 6. Not the book of Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody know their Bible today? The book of Jericho. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Beginning at verse 1, Joshua chapter 6, verse 1. It says, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. All right? Verse 5, and it came to pass, matter of fact, go to verse 4. It says, and, and, and it says, go back to 3. So ye shall come past the city, all the men of war, go around about the city at once. Thus shalt thou do this six days, and seven days the priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of rams, horns, and seven days in the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. Verse 5, And it shall come to pass that when you make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you shall hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. The walls of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Verse 6, And Joshua the son of Nun, or Nun, called the priests and said unto them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and the seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horn before the Ark of the Lord. Alright? Verse 7, and, shall, and he said unto the people, Pass on and come past the city, and let him that, that is armed pass on before the Ark of the Lord. I'm going to stop right there. You may be seated. I want you to look at somebody and say to them, it's time to shout for victory. I got to come out of this jacket. I'm hot up here. <laughs> Glory to God, I tell you. It's time to shout for victory. You know, I was looking up this passage of Scripture and many other scriptures throughout the week. And when Pastor asked me to preach today, and he told me the subject that came to my mind about Psalm 47, 1. Oh, clap your hands. You know, you people who shout the voice of triumph. The, the book of Joshua, chapter 6. How God gave the people instruction that they are to compass Jericho for seven days. Right? But I looked up something. It was really interesting. We probably never pay attention to this. Shouting or crying provides a mean to navigate this terrain allowing us to confront and process the feelings that we might have otherwise remained obscured. We never pay attention to that. Shouting is very important. People don't, don't realize that if I don't sometimes shout, I hold in anger, I hold in resentment, I hold in hatred, I hold in bitterness because I'm harboring this stuff in the treasure box in my heart. Now, if I always say the secret treasure box, God gave it to me a long time ago because we all have a treasure box within us. He said we are a chosen treasure, right? A royal priesthood, chosen possession in God's eyes, right? So if God says we are his chosen treasure, guess what? It's in a box. A spiritual box inside of you, which is your house, your, your temple, is the place where God placed the treasure in. So he says within you, Sometimes we have to shout. I looked up something else which really caught my attention. Because one thing about shouting says the studies indicate that the physical act of screaming 
may trigger a release of feel-good chemicals in the body, which might help to create a sense of relief and potentially lead to lower stress and anxiety levels. Ain't that something? Just from releasing a shout. Throughout the scriptures, God commanded many leaders to lead the army of Israel to victory. Check this out, a ram's horn. We probably never looked that up. Why is a ram's horn so significant? A ram's horn symbolizes God's miracle, his divinity, and his provision and protection. The reason why God chose the ram horn, because a ram is what? A strong animal. So they made a shofar out of a ram's horn. Why? Because it, it brings forth a loud sound. And God says inside of you is a ram horn of the spirit to bring forth and create a loud sound. But many times we get mad at folk in the church, get mad at our husbands or wives, get mad at our significant other, we get mad at the children, and we yell at them, right? Shouting. If you never shout, something wrong with you. Because if I harbor in, my, in myself, when I'm at, I remember one time I had a man in my building, made me upset. Because he accused me, trying to make him be quiet. I came outside, I was preparing for the Bible class, and came outside just to get a little air to get ready to go for the class. And I'm all in good spirit, all high up in God. I mean, having a great day. And this man is loud, I mean, real loud. Every time he talks, like he's shouting. And, I mean, and so he's outside my window. <laughs> so, and I'm like, Lord, you got to shut him up before I do this class because it's going to be an interruption. So I just came outside, not for that reason, but like I said, to get some air. I refreshed me in the house all day. So he says, what you about to do? I'm about to go uh, get ready for my Bible class I do online every week. And, and I, he said, uh, oh, okay. So what you trying to tell me? Shut up. I'm like, where that come from? I said, where that come from? Well, uh, if you're trying to take away my Fifth Amendment, you can't make me shut up. You can't make me stop talking. You can't do this to me because I have the right to get as loud as I want to and keep on talking as loud as I want to, keep doing what I want to do. I said, I never said any of those things you just said. You said it. See, we have to learn to listen. Man, Pastor, I want to talk about all the time, the ear game. If you hear what you thought you heard, then sometimes you hear an error. So he said everything he wanted to say assuming I was saying these things, I never said a word. You hear that? That's how the enemy does. The enemy wants to trick you up to make you think that you're out of order when you're in order. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> so as, as he said this, right, I said, well, God bless you. I proceeded to walk away. But no, the devil has to nag, take a knife, stick in your back, turn the knife, pick at you, keep talking about you as you're walking away. And in my mind, like, Lord Jesus, don't let him touch me. Please, don't let him touch me, because it's old if he touched me. But I thank God for self-discipline through the Spirit. And the Holy Ghost said, keep saying God bless you and keep walking. All right? So when I got in the house, I said, ah! <laughs> He just irritated me. Because <laughs> I knew if I had to hold it in, I would try to go back and start some more trouble. <laughs> but the Holy Ghost said, just release it. Just release it. You got the victory. Ain't that something? Because we don't realize that God already gave you the victory over the enemy. If you focus on what they're doing to you, then they win the victory. And when God began to speak, so when I did the class that night, it was the most profound class. And I was talking about the battles of the mind <laughs> on all subjects. I said, that was a test to see if I believe what I've been teaching. God would test you. If you say you're studying God's word, God said, okay, I'm going to try you. I'm going to let the enemy come up. Didn't he do Job like that? He said, Lord, you move ahead to protection from around Job, I'll make him curse you to your face. Lord, you move the head from around Job, 
I'll make Joe turn his back on you and cuss you out. Lord, you take your heads from around Prophet Abraham and her husband, I'll make them turn away from you. Lord, if you take your head from around Jeanette, I- I'm going to make, make her turn her back and get mad at you. That's an email I'm raised. He wants to single you out on purpose because he knows you already know the word of God, but he wants to test you to you living by the word of God. So many times we quote scriptures till we blew in the faith and don't believe nothing we said out of our mouths. When God gave this to me, he said, just like the children of Israel, they were shut up in a place because of Jericho was an enemy. You got to understand there was an enemy. But God already told them over and over and over, if you trust me, I'm going to take you to the promised land. That was his word. He gave them victory after victory after victory, but then sometimes because of rebellion, we do it sometimes today. We get stubborn, get prideful, get rebellious. We throw stones and hide our faces. And God said, okay, you don't want to obey? Go into captivity. Get in place of bondage. Go ahead. Get there. And when you finally realize you need me, you'll come back to me. We do it all the time. God said, you get to the place where you say you trust in my word and you trust in me. I'm going to show you. It doesn't matter how bad you mess up. My grace is still sufficient. So Jericho, it's a place, a wealthy place. And God said, this is an enemy you're going to defeat. But you're not going to have to fight this battle. Ain't that something? They fought many battles. But God said, this particular battle is going to be strategically planted. It's going to give you the wisdom and knowledge to overcome the enemy with a shout. Y'all hear that? So he told them instructions, what they need to follow to the T. How many times you give your children instructions and you tell them when I come home, the house better be clean. It ain't going to happen. And God says, you know what? I give you instructions. But do you follow to the T? Do you dot the I across the T's with my instructions and you be obedient to my instructions? Or... Are you prideful and rebellious and callous in your heart? A callous heart is a hardened heart. It's a stubborn heart. It's a heart that says, okay, God, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not going to do it. We do it all the time. God says, turn off the television and pray and fast. Nope, my program's too good right now to stop praying, to start praying, God. I got to watch my program first because my soap opera is good or my TV show that's on, 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 on the CW is good. I got to do this first. I got to watch this movie first, God, before I take the time to hear your voice and pray. We put things before God, which becomes an idol. So God says, Israel, Joshua is going to lead you to the promised land. And he says, I'm going to have him take the priest with the ram horns, take the Ark of the Covenant. I'm going to lead the praisers. I'm going to have you all do this one thing, march around the wall seven times for seven days. That's a long time to be marching around the wall. I don't know about you, but I think I would have gave up midstream and said, okay, God, I heard you. Forget it. (laughs) But they had to obey God to get to the next phase of life. Because in order to get to the promised land, God told them there are going to be some enemies you have to defeat in order to get the full measure of the promise. So they followed God's order, his instruction. They did what God said, and they had to be quiet in the process. You hear what I just said? Sometimes you got to be quiet. God says march. He didn't say talk. He didn't say gossip and talk to one another, have a conversation among your peers. He didn't say none of that. To march around the wall for seven days with the, with the ram horn and the ark of the covenant and you do all this I instructed to do but the most significant thing was the seventh day when God says I want you to take some vessels with some land because he gave them vessels too vessels with the um, candles in it he says I want you to break these vessels on the wall 
He said, when you break these vessels on the wall, after marching around the seventh day, I want you all to get in unison. So the choir has to come together in one accord. So it was like a choir marching around the wall now. So everybody had to come in one accord and had to lift up a loud shout. Guess what? The victory's already won. And when they obeyed God and shouted, what did God say? He gave them instruction. When you follow what I told you to do, the wall is going to fall flat. He didn't say it's going to crumble. He's going to break into pieces. He said the wall is going to fall flat. How many walls we built up in our lives that God trying to bring down? How many times we heard God saying, stop doing certain things in your life. You know it's not on my will, but we get stubborn and keep doing it anyway because I'm still covered by my wall. But God says when you shout, the wall is going to fall flat. There are many scriptures that indicate about shouting. And one thing about God, God always gave instructions to his people concerning how to walk in obedience and shout with a voice of triumph. That triumph of the word, that means to overcome in victory. And you have to get to the place yourself and shout before the Lord. Listen to this. Zephaniah 3 chapter 14 verse 14 and 15 it says sing O daughters of zion shout O israel be glad and rejoice with all the heart O daughters of jerusalem we gotta get to the place we don't mind say okay god i'm ready to release how many you have to release today what's what's in you that got you where well, you need to release a shout we gonna do this today because god says that we shout we put the enemy to a flight. He has to leave you alone. He has to leave your marriage alone. Got to leave your children alone. Leave your finances alone. Leave your health alone. He got to stop plaguing you when you shout unto God with the voice of triumph, knowing that I have the victory. I'm already an overcomer because Jesus Christ, my Lord, already conquered the powers of the enemy. And when I shout unto God, I got to know that I know that I know that I am an overcomer. I'm an overachiever. I'm a excellent in the eyes of God. I'm perfecting in praise because he put his spirit in me to worship. Glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmness with his power. We got to praise God like you lost your mind sometimes. You got to get to the place in yourself. I don't care who's looking at me. I don't care how bad y'all might look ugly. I don't care how bad you talk about me. I'm still going to keep on praising God because I've been through so many things in my life and I have a reason to praise him. I almost died and God saved my life. My child got locked up. God brought him out. My son driving drunk and got a ticket and got his license suspended and God still turned things around in his favor and caused him to be blessed and highly favored of God. I got to tell you, when you should Shout unto God. Your situation, it changes your status. Your status might look like you're down on your knees. Ain't going to never rise again. But when I praise God, the spirit of God begins to move in a mighty supernatural way in my life. And the walls got to come down because I'm standing on the promise of God. I don't care where I've been. I don't care how bad I messed up. I don't care what folks say about me. Because God ain't looking at that job. He's looking at the blood of Jesus. It's the blood that never loses power. It's the blood that overcame the power of the enemy. It's the blood of Jesus brought my redemption. It's the blood that said, love lifted me. When I was sinking, Far from the peace for sure. Sinking deep, never to rise no more. I heard a voice that called me in the pillows of the waters. I heard a sound, a frequency that caught my attention to look to the hills which come as my hymn. My help, it comes from the Lord. My strength is in the God of Jacob. My God always prevails. My God always overcomes. I don't care what it looks like. Your situation may be dark. But I come to tell you, 
if you open up your mouth and shout unto God, tell God, thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you, my children not dead. Thank you, my marriage is healed. Thank you, my relationship is blessed. Thank you that I'm overcoming victory. Thank you, I'm blessed and highly favored. When you know that you know, just as they blew the ram horn, made a loud sound, it reached the frequency of heaven. Are you making a sound today that's reaching the frequency of heaven? That when you hear God speaking by his word, something on the inside begin to germinate like a generator. It caused so much power to flow through you. That everywhere you go, you got to tell somebody that God is good to me. You got to tell somebody that God saved my soul when I was a sinner. You got to tell somebody, I know the miracle worker. I know a promise keeper. I know a light in darkness. You got to tell somebody, your situation may look dark right now. But I found out if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men unto me. That's what Jesus said. If I be lifted up above depression, if I be lifted up above anxiety, if I be lifted up above your pain and sorrow, if I be lifted up, your status got to change. Because now I know I have a robe of righteousness. Now I know I have a crown of glory. Now I know I got the king of glory on my side. I got to walk like I've been lifted up. I got to stand firm footed and rooted in Christ Jesus. Never to be moved. We got to stop letting the devil steal our joy because I found out in the midst of shouting, it releases a frequency that only God can understand. That's why when people pray in the spirit and they go in deep in the spirit of God praying in tongues, God begins to germinate the atmosphere around them to release the spirit of praise in their house that every time the enemy think he got in, God set an ambush against the enemy in your life to show you that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You got the greater one who's sitting on the throne inside of your heart. You got to know with confidence, with boldness, that no matter what they try to do to me, you got some naysayers and haters. You got some backbiters and backstabbers. I don't care what you say and do about me because I got a Savior who defeated all my foes. And it says he led the captive captive. He not only that, you know what he did? He went down to the bowels of hell, took the keys from the enemy, said you thought you won over the cross. But I come to tell you today uh, that the cross uh, couldn't hold me down. The grave can't hold me down. But on the third day, the third day, the third day, there was a rumbling in the ground. On the third day, the stone was moved away. And guess what? He got up. He got up. He got up. He said with all power in his hand, he got up. You know why? So you can get up. So you can get up. He got up so we can get up. And receive his love. All because he paid the debt 
that we couldn't pay ourselves. He loved us so much. He said, you know what? I saw you in your mess. I saw you under the bridge. I saw you in the gutters. I saw you in that place where you felt it was hopeless. No hope to rise up again. But I come to tell you today, he got up with all power, the resurrection power, to quicken, to make alive you and me today, that we can receive his life in his loving kindness. So I have loved you with an everlasting love. And by my loving kindness, I drew you to myself, all because of grace. Why don't you stand over the room? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord God. We praise your name. Hallelujah. I want everybody, just take a deep breath. I want you to do one thing. I want you to shout all over this room like you got the victory. I don't care what you're going through. God don't care about that. He cares about when you praise him. Because when you praise him, the status of your situation, it has to change. The chains have to be broken. Shackles have to be loose. When you praise God, the atmosphere changes all around you. I want you to take a deep breath over this room. I want you to do, and I'm going to count the three on the third number. I want you to shout like you lost your mind. It's going to help you. Trust me. Watch, watch what happens. Watch what happens when you shout on the God. One. Two. Three. Come on, let's shout. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord God. Praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Woo. Glory to God. You should feel good right now. You should feel good right now just releasing it. Just releasing every care, every concern through your shout. Just release it. Release it. Whatever bothering you right now, release it. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Yes, God. Let it rain. Yes, God. Let it rain. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. So heaven, let it rain. Let it rain. Open, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it. Let it rain. Yes, God. Yes, God. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Open the floor. Yes, God. Heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open. 
open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Lord, I thank you for this word, oh God, that was spoken in this place. I pray, oh God, right now, the words of my father from deaf ears. But we as your church have ears to hear what the Spirit says to us, God, to provoke us, to challenge us, to change, to become better stewards of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen again. Went open the door to the church at this time. Anyone here that doesn't have a church home, you might, might want to join this church. The doors is open at this time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's raining. It's raining, it's raining, redeem faith is raining, it's raining, shower down, Lord, it's raining, it's raining, oh, it's raining, open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain. Yes, God. Let it rain. Amen. Amen. Why don't you stand out of the room? As we do each week, we all pray in unison a prayer of repentance. I believe God is going to change your status starting today, starting at this moment. Whatever it is that's been plaguing you, been bothering you, been ailing you, was hurting you. God says today your status is changing. Would you repeat after me all over the room? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, actually, Lord God, come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins, knowing and unknown sins, and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. And I thank you for saving me in jesus name amen amen hallelujah you want to close us out you want to close us out today Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today. We thank you for this service, God. We thank you for all that was said and all that was done. And Father, we pray right now that you would pour back into the man of God all that he poured out on today, God. Refresh him, Lord, in the spirit, Father. We thank you, Lord, that not one word will fall to the ground. We thank you, Lord, that as we shout, you would release, God. As we shout, you would pour out, God. As we shout, you would open up the windows of heaven. As we shout, you would heal and deliver. As we shout, you would provide and make a way, God. We thank you, Lord, for the shout. I thank you for the shouting. I thank you for the shouting. Thank you for the shout. Hallelujah. We will not be silent anymore. Father, we thank you that when we see the enemy coming, we will release a shout of victory, a shout for breakthrough, a shout in the name of Jesus. As we leave this place, God, but never your presence, go with us, God, every family represented in this room. We speak healing, deliverance, 
miracle signs and wonders this week shall be a week like we've never seen it before god blow our minds do something we've never seen god so we can praise you like we've never praised you before god lord send your angels to go with us cover our vehicles our homes our marriages our children our family our finances god we put everything in your hand we lay it all at your feet and we thank you now in jesus name amen